We called the offices of each politician featured in that ad. A spokesman for New York Governor David Patterson tells MSNBC News the ad is outrageous. A spokesman for Newt Gingrich says the former House Speaker has no comment. We're still waiting for responses from the rest. Amanda Turkle is senior political reporter for the Huffington Post, and Ahmed Rehab, executive director for the Council on American Islamic Relations, is also with us. Let me start with you, Amanda. What does this tell us about how emotions are running in New York City and in some ways across the country regarding this proposed mosque near Ground Zero? Well, this is a controversy that isn't just touching New York anymore. You're having politicians in Oklahoma and Texas weighing in, and emotions are running incredibly high on both sides. People are saying it's an issue of free speech. People are saying it's an issue of national security. And we're seeing with this incident what can happen when the rhetoric gets too out of control, possibly. There are also indications, as we've heard at Huffington Post, that he may have been suffering from PTSD. So that could have been another factor. Ahmed Rehab, let me ask you, do you think that this is out of control? Oh, it's absolutely out of control. I mean, there's no real story here. This is a center that is being built two blocks away from Ground Zero, which is like another neighborhood as far as Manhattan goes. Um, and it's not a mosque. And even if it were, what's the problem? But it's not. It's an Islamic center that has a gym, stores, galleries. But do you think you know, it's fair? I, I should have stated my question more clearly. Do you think it's fair to equate uh, what happened in that cab with the stabbing of this Muslim cab driver with the controversy over the Islamic center near Ground Zero? No, I don't think it's fair to equate them, but are they linked? Is there some kind of association? I think that's worth, worth an investigation. I mean, when you have basically on the airwaves daily this hysteria that is anti-Muslim telling people that Muslims are building this victory mosque on ground zero, and then somebody who's not very mentally stable or whatever his problem with, is, was uh, ends up slashing somebody's throat, obviously there's a, you know, some kind of connection we need to look into. What else do we know about him, Amanda? You said that there, there were some reports that he might have PTSD. Well, that's what we were hearing. He, he seemed very preoccupied with PTSD. He was doing film projects on it. He was talking about it, and he seemed to be obsessed with the issue. He even went to Afghanistan for about a six-week period, and someone we spoke with who was familiar with him said that that he may have, Michael Enright may have been suffering from PTSD. So that's one thing we know, and I'd also, you know, like to say that, you know, I feel confident that the politicians who are using this type of rhetoric aren't going to go out and stab someone, but it's the type of rhetoric that may inspire someone who might be mentally unstable to do so. Uh, Ahmed, how worried are you that, that there could be more escalations in, in, in the pro kinds of problems we've seen, even if you just look at some of the uh, back and forth that happened during the protests that happened uh, near Ground Zero at the site of this proposed Islamic Center, the emotions were incredibly high. I'm very worried about it. I mean, if you've been following stories uh, around so, the... Oh, sorry. If you've been following stories around no. the country that, you know, in, in Florida, we're seeing anti-Muslim uh, hate crimes, too. Ahmed, go ahead. Well, uh, some of the emotions that we are seeing is genuine. People are genuinely... Uh, sensitive about this issue and they're generally confused about what the center is about. And we're happy to have dialogue and to really explain what this is about. But there's also, let's not for a second miss the fact that there's also um, Islamophobic bigoted groups with terrible track records of attacking Muslims for no other reason that they're, but that they're Muslim that are really exploiting the situation, even leading the outcry against the center and in many ways inciting people uh, indirectly or directly to some kind of confrontation, including at this, in this case violence. All right, Ahmed Rehab, Amanda Turkle, thanks to both of you for being with us. Thank you.